You know, I, I never forget one of my old teachers, Dougie Don, who was the head of music in, in Belfast. He took me to a piano recital once, you know, and I was absolutely, totally in awe of Douglas, you see. You know, he always smelled of pipe tobacco and beer and stuff, you know, and he'd take me along there and I was thinking. And <laughs> this fellow started playing all these Chopin uh, studies. And Dougie nodded off asleep, you know. So I didn't know if I should wake up my teacher or not, you know. And I was only like 13 at the time, maybe 12. And <laughs> eventually he woke up himself and he, he turned to me and he said, Jesus, is he still at it? <laughs> <laughs> and then he went back to sleep. Now, this was a piano player who was famous for playing these Chopin things, you know. And <laughs> I thought it was okay, you know, I liked it. But um, I don't know how anybody could get locked into playing just Chopin. It's beautiful music. Beautiful. Wonderful sentiment. And, you know, the, the, the piano concertos of Chopin are like jewels. But I think you know sometimes you need to put on an old t-shirt or you need to wear a different watch or something I don't know you and in the music I like to do all sorts of things <laughs> our friends <laughs> make sure the flutes go back to the right <laughs> like the Cooper back to us does this go in this case no that goes in there we'll see you all next year same time <laughs> same piece. Same piece. Yeah, same piece. Practice. Same piece. Don't forget, in the meantime, practice. Yeah. <laughs>
people you know when they're playing, even simple tunes, like any song, everybody thinks, you know, maybe this is one thing. A lot of people think that because I play any song, it's just a sort of quick way to make a buck. Well, it's just as difficult to play any song as it is to play the slow movement of the Mozart D major concerto, because you have to apply your whole self to doing that. You have to apply your mind, your musical interpretation, intonation problems are the same. The color of the, the tone, you have to, with these tunes, you have to figure out a good octave to play everything in and things like this. So there is a lot of work that goes into these things. We don't just get up and play the piece. In fact, uh, I, I like to change the piece so that it's better for the flute. A lot of people playing, maybe for example, the swan is in G major. On the flute, I don't like it in G major. I like it in A flat. Let me show you. G major. The notes lie more gently together and you can caress the keys nicer. You don't have these action of G, H, R, B, E. It's a nicer action on the fingers. And this is the sort of thing that you have to look for and that you have to decide in playing these pieces. You don't just get an arranger, arrange the music and off you go. You have to really think about it. And you know, a lot of people are asking me all the time to play this, that and the other thing. And I said, no, I don't wanna play this tune. They said, but Jimmy, this is the most popular tune. I said, I don't care, but it doesn't work on the flute. You know, it's not a flutey tune.